Electricity in Cyprus is produced primarily by burning fossil fuels. This means that every time we turn on our air conditioning systems, we emit carbon dioxide. We are thus contributing to global warming due to the emissions of greenhouse gases. The Cyprus Institute leads research in renewables, and more specifically in the utilization of solar energy. The Institute's solar Fresnel collector relies on 288 mirrors that concentrate sunlight on a linear receiver. The solar radiative energy is converted by the receiver to heat and stored in a thermal repository. Heat is drawn from the heat storage vessel as needed, even after sunset, to heat the building in the winter or to drive and absorb a chiller, our air conditioning unit, in the summer. I'm currently a physics student at the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom. Over the summer, I completed a two-month internship at the Cyprus Institute. During my time here, I have studied in depth the optical efficiency of the mirrors by software modeling of the Fresnel collector. To complete that, I also worked on the critical issue of soiling, which affects mirror reflectivity. For that, we had to take several on-field measurements. Overall, I'd say that this has been an enriching and valuable experience for me because I got to approach a uniquely innovative facility in Cyprus. Fresnel Collector is a simple technology that can be deployed on any roof that is directly connected to the end user. And using just some mirrors, we are able to produce cooling and heating, avoiding huge amount of electricity consumption. Cyprus and the region are blessed with excellent solar potential. Covering an area of 10 square kilometers in Cyprus with this kind of solar concentration technology would be more than sufficient to satisfy the whole island's heating and cooling needs. A good fraction of this area can be found on unused rooftops of buildings.